thank you so much for joining us with a new video. If you are new here consider subscribing, because we bring you great base design for every town hall level, and we will also explain why certain buildings are placed in certain places while doing speed build. Also we will show the effective range of every defensive building, and some defense replays later in this video. So, let's talk about the base design, as we all know that the town hall is the important building in this game, because the opponent can get one star from destroying it, so we place town hall in the center compartment of the base, where all the defensive buildings can guard it from every direction, so it will be hard to destroy town hall from this base from any popular town hall 9 attacking strategy, that include dragon with lightning spell, lava loon and go with a, which you can watch later in the replay. And we also placed Dark Elixir Storage in the main compartment, and as you can see we placed all the Spring Traps and Skeleton Traps in the main compartment, because of it. Opponent will lose lot of their ground troops in there, and they may only get one star. And this will be really helpful during the massive Hag Rider and Golem Valkyrie and Wizard attacking strategy. And since most Town Hall 9 player use massive dragons in Lava Loon, so all the air defense and expo are distributed in such a way that it can cover whole base, and since they are placed in the inner compartment of the base, air troops will take quite a lot of time to snipe them. And all the wizard towers are placed far from air defense, so lightning spell cannot damage both of them at the same time, and also it can provide splash damage in the area where storage buildings are located, so it can protect those storage buildings from farming troops. Since core part of the base is protected with the main defensive buildings, we placed all the ordinary defense including mortars on the edge of the base, so they can protect outer part of the base, and we placed all the mortars outside the base, because in higher town hall level it is not powerful as compared to while it's being on lower town hall level. And also we prioritized to the storage buildings while building this space, so there is lack of space in this layout, that's why we placed mortar outside the base, but it does not degrade the defensiveness of the space. And all the storage buildings are placed far from each other into different compartments, so that opponents cannot get all the loot just by entering one compartment. In other to get all the loot, they need to destroy the space, and these storage buildings are guarded with all the defensive structures, and, all the traps are placed in the area where they can work effectively. And, don't forget to watch the effective coverage of every defensive buildings, and defense replays later in this video, so that you can know how effective the space design is. Once again, 
let's see the placement of the defensive structures and heroes, and its effective coverage. Let's see some defense replays, so that you can know how effective the space is. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And if you are not subscribed to our channel yet, then hit that red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And if you need more base layout at different town hall levels, make sure to mention in the comment section. And I will see you in the next one.